Hello, I'm from the Special Education Division of the Education Bureau. I'm glad that I have the opportunity to introduce you the development of integrated education in Hong Kong, as well as the strategies of supporting students with special educational needs. Trusting that the explanations below can provide you with a more holistic view of the implementation of integrated education. The government adopts a dual-track mode in providing special education. Subject to the assessment and recommendations of specialists and the consent of parents, the Education Bureau will refer students with more severe or multiple disabilities to special schools for intensive support services. Other students with special educational needs will attend ordinary schools. To cater for the diverse needs of students with special educational needs, the Education Bureau has all along been encouraging schools to adopt the whole school approach to integrated education. In recent years, an array of enhancement measures has been rolled out to further enhance the school's capacity in addressing the needs of students. Let me walk you through the development of integrated education. Since the 1970s, Hong Kong's education policy has been to support children with special educational needs to integrate into ordinary schools so that they can receive education together with children of the same age. To support students with special educational needs, the government provides a variety of support services, including resource class, special class for the visually impaired, special class for the hearing impaired, remedial teaching service, and peripatetic remedial service, etc. In 1997, we launched the pilot project on integrated education, promoting the whole school approach to integrated education. Schools are encouraged to adopt the whole school approach and cater for students with special educational needs through curriculum adaptation as well as teaching and assessment accommodation. In the 2003-04 school year, the Education Bureau implemented the new funding mode to provide public sector ordinary primary schools with the Learning Support Grant. To enhance the professional capacity of teachers in catering for students with special educational needs, the Education Bureau launched a teacher professional development framework on integrated education in the 2007-08 school year. Under the framework, structured training courses pitched at three levels. Basic, advanced and thematic are conducted for serving teachers and training targets are set. In the 2008-09 school year, we also provided the Learning Support Grant to public sector ordinary secondary schools and encouraged schools to adopt the whole school approach in supporting students with different types of special educational needs. In the same year, we began to promote school-based educational psychology service. From the 2016-17 school year, School-based educational psychology service has covered all public sector ordinary schools. The Education Bureau continues to review the implementation of integrated education and will implement enhanced measures where necessary and feasible. In the 2015-16 school year, we implemented the pilot project on special educational needs coordinators and the provision of special educational needs coordinators has been regularized starting from the 2017 to 18 school year. Each public sector ordinary primary and secondary school has been provided by phases in three years, with an additional graduate teaching post to facilitate the school's assignment of a designated teacher to take up the role of special educational needs coordinator. Starting from the 2019 to 20 school year, the government has implemented a series of enhanced measures on integrated education, including extending the learning support grant to all public sector ordinary schools, 
increasing the learning support grant unit grant rate for Tier 3 support significantly to four times the rate for Tier 2 support. Providing additional regular teaching post titled Special Educational Needs Support Teacher According to the Needs of Students Upgrading the post of Special Educational Needs Coordinator to Promotion Rank in schools with a comparatively large number of students with special educational needs Extending the enhanced school-based educational psychology service by progressively enhancing the ratio of educational psychologists to schools at schools admitting a comparatively large number of students with special educational needs. With a view to strengthening the support to schools with more days of visit paid by the school-based educational psychologists. Implementing enhanced school-based speech therapy service by creating school-based speech therapy posts in the public sector ordinary primary and secondary schools by phases to allow schools to form clusters to employ school-based speech therapists to enhance the support for students with speech and language impairment and providing the grant for supporting non-Chinese speaking students with special educational needs to public sector ordinary schools and meeting non-Chinese speaking students with special educational needs. The enhanced measures allow schools to have a more stable teaching force, resources that can be deployed flexibly, and enhanced professional support to further enhance the effectiveness of integrated education. Currently, the special educational needs of students in ordinary schools are mainly categorized into nine types, including intellectual disability, autism spectrum disorders, attention deficit or hyperactive disorder, mental illness, specific learning difficulties, visual impairment, hearing impairment, physical disability, and speech and language impairment. The aims of integrated education are to provide students with special educational needs with equal learning opportunities and help them develop their potential, help different stakeholders recognize, accept, respect and embrace individual differences, thereby promoting personal growth of students and building an inclusive society. Given diversity in the classroom, Teachers can no longer adopt one single teaching approach for all students, nor can they expect all students to attain the same academic standard. To cater for students with special educational needs, schools should effectively utilize internal and external resources to adopt various accommodation and support measures in order to provide more comprehensive support for the students requiring different tiers of support and to facilitate them to develop multiple intelligences. Schools should also cater for students' developmental needs and help them with different aspirations and abilities articulate to multiple pathways. We have a vision for ordinary schools to provide high-quality education services through catering for student diversity as well as students' special educational needs and incorporating it as part of daily teaching and student support with a view to develop the potential of every student to promote mutual respect of individual differences among teachers and students and to cultivate an inclusive school culture. The Education Bureau has been encouraging ordinary schools to adopt the whole school approach to integrated education based on five underlying principles, namely early identification, early intervention, whole school approach, home school cooperation and cross-sector collaboration, premised on the synergy of culture, policies and practices, Schools have to set up a student support team and motivate all teachers to adopt the three-tier intervention model to cater for students with special educational needs. We have been encouraging schools to adopt the three-tier intervention model to support students with special educational needs. Under the model, teachers should adopt the principle of intervention before assessment. 
basically, Tier 1 support refers to early identification and catering for diverse learning and adjustment needs of all students, including those with mild or transient learning or adjustment difficulties through quality teaching in regular classrooms. Tier 2 support refers to additional support or add-on intervention, such as small group tutoring, after-school remedial programs, pull-out remedial programs for students with persistent learning or adjustment difficulties. Tier 3 support refers to individualized intensive support for students with persistent and severe learning or adjustment difficulties, including drawing up of individual education plans. If relevant information of students with special educational needs, such as types of special educational needs and support arrangements, etc., can be transferred in a timely manner to the schools that they will be attending. It will facilitate the school's early understanding of their learning needs and arrangement of support services, thus continuing or deepening the support for them and increasing the effectiveness. As such, the Education Bureau all along has set up mechanisms to assist schools in transferring the special educational needs information of students at different stages, including from kindergarten to primary schooling, primary to secondary schooling, transfer amongst primary or secondary schools, and from secondary schooling to post-secondary education. To further enhance the effectiveness of the transfer of special educational needs information from preschool to primary schooling, the Education Bureau, Social Welfare Department, Department of Health and Hospital Authority have worked in collaboration to establish an information transfer mechanism for a timely transfer of the assessment information and progress reports of preschool children with special needs to the primary schools they will attend to help teachers identify and support the students concerned at an early stage. The Education Bureau has all along been providing public sector ordinary schools with additional resources, professional support, and teacher training to facilitate schools to implement a whole school approach to integrated education. Of the additional resources, the Learning Support Grant is the major one. Provision of Learning Support Grant is based on the number of students with special educational needs and the tier of support they require in a school in each school year. Academically low achievers in primary schools are also eligible for the Learning Support Grant. Starting from the 2019 to 20 school year, all public sector ordinary primary and secondary schools have been providing with the Learning Support Grant an additional regular teaching post titled Special Educational Needs Support Teacher have been provided according to the needs of the schools. In addition, depending on individual circumstances, schools will be provided with the grant for supporting non-Chinese speaking students with special educational needs and a top-up fund, etc. Schools are advised to deploy the additional resources provided by the Education Bureau holistically and flexibly, including employment of teachers and teaching assistants, or hiring of professional services, in order to address the needs of students with special educational needs. For professional support, professionals from the Education Bureau will conduct regular school visits and provide professional advice regarding school policies, support measures under integrated education, teaching strategies, resource deployment, home school cooperation, etc. School-based educational psychologists, school-based speech therapists, an education audiologist will also provide individual assessments, consultation and professional support services, etc. The Education Bureau has also provided each public sector ordinary primary and secondary school with a special educational needs coordinator to lead the student support team 
and assist the school principal and vice principal in planning, coordinating, and implementing the whole school approach to integrated education in order to further cultivate an inclusive school culture and enhance the effectiveness of the support for students with special educational needs. Regarding integrated education, the Education Bureau provides schools with relevant circulars, guidelines and leaflets. In addition, through cross-sector collaboration with tertiary institutions, we have developed assessment tools and diversified teaching resource packages for schools. In addition, in response to different types of students with special educational needs, the Education Bureau has developed evidence-based support programs and services to help schools provide targeted support to students. Starting from the 2007 to 8 school year, the Education Bureau has been providing serving teachers with structured training courses, pitched at basic, advanced, and thematic levels, and training targets are set. Schools are advised to arrange teachers to attend the basic, advanced, and thematic courses in a systematic manner to enhance the effectiveness of the implementation of integrated education. Starting from the 2021 to 22 school year, the Education Bureau will launch the online basic course to allow teachers to acquire the basic knowledge and strategies in supporting students with special educational needs in a more flexible way. We'll keep in view the implementation of special education training programs, the school's achievement rate of the training targets, as well as the latest development of integrated education, to revise or adjust the mode of delivery and content of the courses as appropriate to meet the training needs of teachers. In addition to facilitate professional exchange for the support of students with diverse needs, the Education Bureau provides teachers with professional development activities every school year, including thematic talks, seminars, experience sharing sections and workshops, etc. School networks and learning circles for disseminating successful experience on catering for students with special educational needs and sharing the latest update are also organized. Besides, the Education Bureau has implemented school partnership scheme and invited special schools having provision teaching experience and expertise in supporting students with special educational needs to serve as special school calm resource centers to support ordinary schools. For students with intellectual disability who experience severe adjustment difficulties in ordinary schools, the special school calm resource centers will provide short-term placement and support for the students, which also helps enhance the skills and strategies of ordinary schools in supporting those students. The communication and cooperation between parents and schools plays a key role in the support of students with special educational needs. The Education Bureau has uploaded the Parent Guide on the Whole School Approach to Integrated Education alongside a series of pamphlets about nurturing children with different types of special educational needs to the website of the Education Bureau which enhance parents' understanding of their roles and skills in the support of children. As for homeschool cooperation, the Education Bureau required schools to set up a systematic and regular communication mechanism with parents in order to strengthen communication and cooperation with them and to invite parents to give views on the effectiveness of support measures. Schools should also let parents understand the school's support measures for apt complement to enhance the effectiveness of support. In addition, schools should continue to promote an enhanced plan for developing inclusive school culture with a view to fostering among ordinary students and parents 
and understanding, acceptance of, and respect for students with special educational needs, and thus establishing a harmonious and inclusive school culture. The Education Bureau has been reviewing the implementation of integrated education on an ongoing basis through listening to the views of different stakeholders through various channels. The Education Bureau has set up the Task Force on Integrated Education, comprising representatives from the school sector, other government departments, non-governmental organizations and parent groups. Through regular meetings, the Education Bureau briefs the members of the task force on the progress of implementing integrated education and seeks their views on improvement measures. In addition to this formal communication platform, we also keep in touch and, where necessary, meet with school councils, non-governmental organizations and parent groups to strengthen communication and collaboration. To take forward, the Education Bureau will continue promoting the implementation of integrated education by enhancing the professional capacity of teachers in catering for students with special educational needs, promoting good practices in school-based support, developing evidence-based support strategies, promoting homeschool cooperation, and establishing a harmonious and inclusive school culture so as to further improve the quality of integrated education.